Welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very interesting and challenging question from radical equations which we are going to solve for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing all the terms to RHS first. So we will write 2x cube plus 2x plus 1 which is in the RHS. Then we will write our LHS with minus sign. So minus of 4x minus 1 the square root of x cube plus 1 equal to 0 or we can write 2x cube plus 2x plus 1 minus 4x the square root of x cube plus 1 plus the square root of x cube plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will be splitting. 1 can be written as 2 minus 1 and this term will be written as 2 minus 1 with the square root x cube plus 1. Let me write here 2x cube plus 2x plus 2 minus 1. This is our plus 1. Then we have minus 4x square root of x cube plus 1. And then we will split 2 times the square root x cube plus 1 minus the square root x cube plus 1 equal to 0. Now we have to rearrange our terms in this manner 2x cube plus 2. Then we will write our last term square root x cube plus 1. Then we have minus 4x square root x cube plus 1. Then we have plus 2x terms. Then we will write 2 times square root x cube plus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Now from first two terms of LHS. 2 is looking common, so we will take 2 common out in the bracket, it would be x cube plus 1. Let me write here. So 2 is common, in the bracket we will be writing x cube plus 1. Then we have minus square root x cube plus 1. Then we will write minus 4x square root x cube plus 1. Then we will write plus 2x. Then we have 2 times the square root of x cube plus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Now from first two terms of LHS, we will take square root x cube plus 1 common out. Now we can take 2 times the square root x cube plus 1 minus 1 common out from left hand side. So we will be writing here 2 times cube root of x cube plus 1 minus 1. In one bracket, in other bracket we will write a square root of x cube plus 1 minus 2x plus 1. Now we have to use product 0 rule. We will get two equations. So we can say either 2 times the square root of x cube plus 1 minus 1 will be 0 or the square root of x cube plus 1 minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So we will solve our first equation first. So I will add 1 to both sides and we can write 2 times the square root x cube plus 1 equal to 1. Let's divide by 2 both sides. 2 over 2 is 1. Square root of x cube plus 1 equal to 1 over 2. Now we have a square root in LHS. We will consider a squaring both sides to remove a square root. So square root and square will be cancelled out. We will get x cube plus 1 equal to 1 over 4. Now we will subtract 1 from both the sides. 
so that x cube will be left in the LHS would be equal to minus 3 over 4. Now we have to consider cube root both sides for the real values of x we will say x will be equal to cube root of minus 3 over 4. So this is our first real solution. Now we have to solve our second equation which was a square root of x cube plus 1 minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will add 2x minus 1 to both sides plus 2x minus 1. So in LHS these two terms will get over. We will get a square root of x cube plus 1 will be equal to 2x minus 1. Now we can write one condition on x. LHS is always positive for real x. So RHS must be positive. So we will say 2x minus 1 should be greater than 0. 2x should be greater than 1. x should be greater than half. So for this equation, our solution should be greater than half. Now we will write our equation square root x cube plus 1 equal to 2x minus 1. Now we will consider squaring both sides. Now square root and square will be over from LHS. We will get x cube plus 1 equal to 2x minus 1 whole square. Now we will be using a minus b whole square formula. So we will write x cube plus 1 equal to 2x minus 1 whole square or x cube plus 1 will be equal to 2x whole square is 4x square then we can write minus 4x then there would be plus 1. Now we will subtract 1 from both the sides to remove plus 1. So it will be left with x cube equal to 4x square minus 4x. Now we will write all the terms to left hand side x cube minus 4x square plus 4x equal to 0. Now we can take x common out. So in the bracket we will be getting x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. Or we can write x times this is x minus 2 whole square. Now we can use product 0 rule and write either x equal to 0 or x equal to 2. Now there was one condition on x. x should be greater than half. On this ground, we will cancel x equal to 0 solution. So x equal to 2 would be accepted solution from this equation. So if I will write our final answer, then x must be equal to cube root of minus 3 over 4 and x equal to 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. And Happy New Year 2026.